Welcome back everybody to another League of Legends Basics video. My name is Nathan. Welcome back to All Things Nerd. It's been a minute since I've uploaded a League Basics video, but I wanted to kind of start fresh again and start back into the world of League of Legends and kind of explain things. Uh, this video might not be helpful to veterans and pros, but you know, if you want to check out the video, go for it. But this video is aimed towards more of people who are just babies and beginners getting into League of Legends. Like, they've never really played, they're just starting for the first time, and they're logging into the League of Legends client, and things are seeing very overwhelming, so I know what it was like when I first started playing League of Legends, and I know that it can be overwhelming to kind of navigate the client and kind of see what everything is. So let's take a look through the client, and let's go and explain all the buttons, all the things you can press, and what everything is. So first of all, starting at the when you first log into the League of Legends client, you're going to be seeing the home page. Now the home page here is normally going to have like advertisements, as you can see here on the screen. Uh, it has one here for Prime Gaming for for uh, Amazon, and so if you sign if you have an Amazon Prime account, you can sign up for free rewards for League of Legends. Uh, typically here too, they're going to have an advertisement. Uh, Riot is going to have an ad for the new champion. Um, I know the new champion that just came out was Belle Bev. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that name right. She is the queen of the void, so it's pretty cool to see her coming to the game. Uh, being a longtime veteran myself, playing for almost 10 years, <laughs> um, I started back in season two when Zyra came out, so it's definitely pretty cool to see all how many champions we have. I think there's like almost 150 altogether. Like, it's a lot now, and the game has grown so much. I mean, maybe someone can correct me on that number, but. Yeah, it's, it's just crazy. But anyways, so let's say you're a new player. You're just logging into the client for the first time. And you're like, wow, this is overwhelming. I don't know where to go. I don't know where to start. Well, let's start with the basics, okay? So let's go through here. So if you click this little button right here on the top left, this is going to give an explanation of who the new champion is. Obviously, Belvev is here right now. It's going to give her splash art. You can see her skins. Uh, you can see her, well actually sorry, this is her skin, Battle Boss Belbev. How much it costs over here. You can discover her uh, different move set, kind of her champion inside to the Zions that Riot had for the champion. The different themes they were going to do, who she's kind of related to in the void, and all these different st fun stuff. And down here if you click the abilities button, this is actually going to show obviously her abilities, but uh, you can go through each one and click on them and it's going to show her Q, her W, her E, her R, her ultimate, kind of what they do over here on the screen. You can press and play and pause it, so whatever you want to do there. Click on down here, this is actually going to tell the story of Bevelbev. This is going to tell her, kind of like her biography and how she came into the void and all her backstory and whatnot. So if you're, if you're really big into lore, one thing that Riot Games does really well is they tell a good story. And I, I do have to tell you, some of the old comics that they came out with back in the day was pretty cool. It was pretty awesome to read a lot of their stuff. And um, I used to be more bigger into the lore, but I kind of fell out of the lore a little bit. And I just haven't really got into the lore too much anymore. I should probably start picking up the lore a little more. It's kind of cool to hear all the backstories of the champions. But anyways... So up here, you can click the Overview button. Now the Overview button is going to bring it back to where we were. Uh, it's kind of like I was saying about Prime Gaming, seeing that um, there's, which is pretty cool, you can get free RP and more, May 31st through June 30th. And then you can also see other skins that are being advertised that are brand new. So down here we have Ocean Song Zary and Ocean Song Yon. They just came out and were released, so that's pretty cool. We have a story about Graves and Twisted Fate. I haven't read through that yet, so I don't know what that's all about. Uh, we have a thing where it says, Buy, Why Belvev Slaps? <laughs> so that's pretty fun to read. And then we have a uh, uh, advertisement for Pride, I guess, for 2022. Okay. So, the next thing we're going to look at is we're going to look at the merch. Uh, the merch is pretty self-explanatory as well. Uh, this is the store of Riot Games, so you can go here and you can buy statues, you can buy t-shirts, hoodies, um, games for sale, and all the cool stuff they have. There's some actually some statues I want to get myself. I saw like a Jin Unlock statue. I'm a big Jin player, so it'd be cool to own a League statue, but I haven't got one of those yet. Next we're going to click the patch notes. Now for those who are kind of new to 
let's see, action like MOBAs. Obviously, it's a MOBA, but those who are not used to like online games that change every month. Um, basically, every game you know nowadays online that has multiplayer has patches. But if you're not aware, a patch is basically a change that comes to the game. So the patch notes you can are very important to read over because it basically tells you everything that's changed in the game that Riot has maybe fixed. They have either nerfed or maybe powered up a champion that wasn't doing well. So you can see here like the first beginning thing of the patch notes. They're going to tell you kind of a little story of okay what they did this patch. And then it's going to start going through all the balance adjustments and changes. And then you can kind of take a little deeper look at what they look like. So it'll tell you here that the champions released for Belvev, of course. And then you can kind of go through here and see all the champions that were nerfed or buffed. Um, it's pretty cool. So you can kind of read here on Aphelios that his passive attack speed and lethality with rank up increase. So they're basically giving more attack speed and lethality to Aphelios as he levels up. So you can just see here things like that and they're just going to show you kind of if they've lowered the damage of some champions or if they've hired them or maybe increased their health or maybe increased their mana growth like on Fizz. Just little things like that. So it's very important to go through here. And then you can kind of scroll down a little more and get past this. Uh, this is all just champions. And down here, this is actually going to go through items as well. So things that you would build for your champion while you're in the game. This is going to show you the different... Uh, things that they the passives on the different items that's going to show you if they nerf something so here there be I guess healing got way too big in the game so um, and they didn't think grievous wounds was let's see here uh, this despite the systematic nerf last patch grievous wounds is still too impactful in the game forcing us to push healing to unreasonable levels so I guess okay I take it back Grievous Wounds is so powerful that they actually need to nerf it back a little bit because it's not doing enough to mitigate the healing or it's doing too much. So um, so this is just going through that. Then you go down here, they have a whole separate thing for mage items. I guess mage items aren't performing super well in this meta so they were just trying to give it a little buff. And then also tank items, they were making tanks. Uh, tank players were basically falling off like Zac, Orin, Malphite, people like that. They weren't doing well, so they want to give more health to them. Which I'm really excited about because I love tanks and I think tanks are a lot of fun to play. But that's just me. Some people find tanks boring. You have another fighter uh, thing. And then if you scroll all the way down, a lot of times they'll even have like TFT changes. Uh, I don't, or maybe they have TFT changes on a separate page. Yeah, I could be wrong about that. So TFT is on a separate page. Oh yeah, because they have a whole separate tab for TFT. <laughs> so we'll get to that in a minute. Yeah, so that is the home page, and then we can go back to the overview lay. Uh, so let's click on the TFT. So TFT is Team Fight Tactics. I personally don't play TFT at all. I played a little bit when it first came out just to kind of see what the hype was all about and all that. And So I'm not going to speak on TFT too much because I don't really know. I, I know how to, like, it's a... I don't, I don't remember what the genre is called. I just know it's Team Fight Tactics, but there's a certain like name for it, and it's fun. I wasn't really too big on it, so like I said, I'm not going to touch on it too much. But you can click down here, you can go to the home page, like uh, we're on. Uh, you can go. There's a battle pass for it, uh, and you can unlock different rewards as you level up and play TFT. You have your match history here. See, I haven't played any matches since like they first came out with it in the beta version of it or whatever. So I don't have any matches, but you can see your match history here if you're a big TFT player. And then you can go to news over here. Uh, this will give you news on like what's kind of going on in the TFT world. So it's essentially just like the home, home thing for TFT only. So the next button we're gonna be clicking up here is called Clash. Now Clash is a tournament, I believe, if I'm 100%, uh, it happens only on the weekends. And you have to sign up on a certain day and a certain amount of time you can play Clash and they open up. And they basically, it's just a tournament online you can play with your friends. So let's say you're really competitive in League, whether you suck or you're good, you wanna get into some tournament play, this is the perfect place to start. Um, and you can earn like separate rewards and stuff like that. So I actually haven't played Clash yet. I've been wanting to play a lot. Uh, I keep putting myself as a free agent. I've only gotten like one invite, but unfortunately I couldn't play at that time because I had to end up going to dinner or something. I don't know. 
but I just know that, uh, yeah, so if, you, if you're really into, you know, really competitive esports type play, Clash is a good place to start and to get really good at the game. Obviously, there's always Ranked Flex as well, but Clash will be your place to go with your friends if you want to make a ranked team. Over here, you can click on this button, which is Find a Team. Um, pretty self-explanatory. If you're looking to find a team, you can request yourself to join a team and uh, they will basically match you up with players around your skill level. You can go to the winners of the past clash and different stuff like that. Um, I I guess there has been no team. Oh, because I don't think clash has started yet on this weekend. So it's either once a month or every weekend. I don't know. Someone can correct me on this, but I know that clash doesn't happen every all all week every day. It's like only certain times out of the month. And then you can go to rewards where you can earn different rewards and icons during your clash play. So yeah, so that's the clash icon. Um, yeah, I, it looks pretty fun. I can't wait to actually try it myself. I, I definitely want to find a team. So let's head on over here. If you click this little guy up here, this is your profile. This is where it's going to have an overview of your profile. Obviously, it's going to show my name here. It's going to show my different icons and things that I've equipped it. It's going to show which my next free chest is available in my loot over here. We'll get to loot in a minute. It's going to show me down here with boost. Uh, boosts are basically, um, you can unlock boosts for like blue essence that you earn in the game to buy um, champions and stuff like that. So you can get different boosts if you want to get more blue essence and it helps you every game you win, you'll get like bonus blue essence and basically earn blue essence faster. So stuff like that. Uh, back in the day, boosts were actually a lot more important because they helped you gain XP faster, which you can still buy them now for XP, but the way it worked, it's, I feel like it took forever to get to level 60 back in the day, and uh, they've definitely sped up the process a lot quicker now. So if you're, into, if you're big into smurfing, which they don't encourage, it actually, you can level up ranks really quickly. Another thing down here is their ARAM rerolls. Uh, ARAM is a separate game mode called All Random All Mid, where there's just one lane, and um, yeah, so that's a lot of fun. So if you're into just some wacky game modes, ARAM's a lot of fun to play, and um, this will tell you how many skin rerolls. Because when you're actually in the ARAM queue, you'll get a random champion, and you can use a reroll. So, so let's say you didn't like the champion you got, you can reroll and get another random champion. And it's fun. Um, a lot of people abuse this because, like, some people will take it so seriously, and they'll just leave, and they'll be like, "I didn't get my champion. I won on boohoo," and then they'll leave, and yeah. So that just shows you how many A Ram rerolls you have. Over here, uh, we actually have your ranking. Uh, right now, I suck. I'm gold three. I've been hard stuck in gold this season. <laughs> I'm not as good as I used to be. I climbed all the way to diamond three back in season four, but. Uh, uh, those days are long gone, my friends. Um, the game has changed so much with all these different champions and just stuff in the game that's just so different now. And it's just, it's just a whole different game now. Like League of Legends is not what it used to be back in the day. Down here, you can see my I am honor level four, which I'm very proud of. I'm a very nice person in the game. Um, I don't rage. I'm not a rager. I don't yell at people. I will type back to people and troll them every once in a while, but other than that, I'm just I just mind my business and play the game and have fun. I will usually just mute people where I want to get in game, so you know. But that's why I burned that rank. And then I know if you actually hit honor level five, you'll get like special rewards for the season, and you get like a special emblem and icon, and you'll actually get like a special skin. I believe now it's a little different. I don't know. I got to read up on that more, but I believe there's like more rewards coming your way if you hit the max honor rank. Um, down here you'll have your mastery score. So this will actually tell you your highest champion mastery. This will show you who you put your most time into playing League of Legends. So you can see here that I have Shaco, Gragas, and Zac. Those have been my top play champions of all time in League. I put so much time into those three champions because I'm a big jungler and I love the jungle, but I've also played Shaco support. I played Zac top back in the day when Zac was a top laner. I played Gragas mid when Zac was a, or when Gragas was a big mage and he could one shot people with his QR. And so yeah, I played him top lane and jungle and support. And so yeah, these have been my top people. And this will show you the, how much points you have and your best grade you've had on them and so, so on. Uh, the next on the right you have over here is the highest eternals. 
Uh, this is basically showing you how many takedowns, structures destroyed I have with Gragas, how many kills I have with Gragas, how many structures I've destroyed with Shaco, and like, because that's probably a bit from split pushing back in the day. So yeah, this will just show you those kind of stats. Uh, over here we have trophies. If I had any. But no, <laughs> I'm just joking. Uh, trophies are earned from Clash. So like I said, I haven't played Clash, so I don't have any trophies. And same with uh, banners. Uh, they can be earned by a participation class. Uh, up here, we have a summoner search icon. If you want to search how bad your friends are at ranked, or you just want to search random players, this is where you do it. Uh, so let's go over to the... Oh, yeah. Before I move on, this little button right here, this is your set your profile background. You can change the profile of the background to whoever you want. Uh, obviously, right now, I have Teemo, because I... I don't ever play Teemo, but I just like the skin. I just think it looks good. And uh, I just like to be trolly. So when people come check out my profile, they're like, oh, of course he's a Teemo player. So yeah, so that's pretty cool. Next over here, let's click on the challenges tab. Uh, the challenges are actually brand new to Leap. They just came out like a couple patches ago. Uh, basically, they're like, think of them like as like achievements in League of Legends. Uh, you can show off different challenges and then you can show off the different ones you've earned. And So if you're really big into achievements and stuff like that, this is basically for you. If you want to try to get take down 12 champions within 15 minutes, like this is a, a big one, you know, people who love to team fight or who love to really skirmish. Uh, this is another one, win games without dying. You know, you gotta win three games without dying so many times and you'll earn the unkillable demon king. Like, just little th names like that. And then it'll show you on each side over here the different um, things that you have earned and how much you've earned of them. Uh, over here, we're gonna click on the match history. This is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, once you start really getting into League, Right over here, you'll have your match history of all the games you played, whether ranked, whether ARAM, whether normal ranked queue. Um, this will tell you uh, how many, all the games you played, your history of them. Now, I think it only stores up to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So only 19 games are stored at a time in your match history. Um, and then over here on the right, you can actually see a download button. So this is pretty cool. You can download this whole game that you played. It's all already been pre-recorded for you. You can then upload it as content. Maybe you own a YouTube channel. Maybe you want to watch the replay of the game because you're like, oh, I sucked really bad. Obviously, you can see here I died six times as AD carry. That's horrible. Uh, so maybe I want to go back and rewatch the game and see what I did wrong, what I could improve on and what it maybe I could do better. So that's pretty cool that Riot provides that. A uh, little thing here on the right, this is the recently played champions. This is basically gonna show you who you recently played. Um, I've been getting into AD carry a lot lately this season. I don't know why I've been getting into this toxic role, but um, I haven't been jungling well. So I was like, you know what, we need to switch things up. So I started playing Misfortune. I've been playing a lot of Jin, playing a lot of Ash, um, just trying different things and just trying to have fun. Obviously, if I get filled, I'll play like top lane, I'll play like Darius, or if I go jungle, I'll play like Gragas or Zac, like I showed you earlier, but yeah. Uh, this will show you down here your recent activity. It shows here that I've played Marksman or AD Carry the most, um, and then I've played a little bit of top lane, which is basically the fighters. So. Oh, last 20 games played. My bad. I said 19. I love how it says right there and I counted all of them. <laughs> That's funny. Oh well, whatever. And then you can click on here and this will show your TFT history. Like I said before, I don't play TFT, so we're gonna skip that. Next, we're gonna click on the rank tab. This is gonna show you your rank. Uh, currently I'm gold three, like I said before. Uh, this is all the points I've earned for this Eternal Series 1 capsule unlocked. Uh, this will show you the season. You can even go by um, if you want to look at your flex queue, if you want to look at your solo duo, I don't play flex. My friends don't play league anymore, so I don't have friends to play with. Uh, you can see the top duo players of the season and who's like a pro player, the, all the challenger players, who's number one. And then you can get like the top flex 5v5 players, you can do the top TFT players, and so on. That's pretty cool. And then you can also see by each gold, uh, each division that you're in. 
So I believe there's so how many ranks are there? There's well, there's four ranks in each the or there's four divisions in each rank. There's iron, bronze, silver, gold, platinum, diamond, master tier, right? <laughs> I think it's like master, oh no, grand, master, grandmaster, and then like challenger, I believe. I don't know. I know they added a couple more tiers, and I don't remember what all of them were, but uh, anyways, there's four separate divisions in each tier. So if you get to gold, you're going to have to climb through gold four, gold three, gold two, and then gold one. And then at your last division in gold one, or whatever tier you're at, you're going to have to play... Um, you get five games, so if you you have to win three out of five games to get promoted. So, uh, yeah, and then you rank up. Let's go over here to highlights. Uh, this is the highlights. This is basically clips that you save in your recordings to little moments that you loved. Obviously, I have a clip here that was uh, filmed. I don't know. Oh, eight twenty three and twenty twenty. It was me playing a game mode. Um, I don't remember what this that game mode, but I was being stupid and I took the cannon outside So me and my friends were like laughing really hard because I just basically suicided and killed myself uh, I just I don't know. I thought that was funny though And then over here. I just had like a Silas 1v3 which I actually have up on the YouTube channel So it's pretty cool. You can just save these recording moments and put them in your highlights Let's click on stats. Uh, stats are a very detailed guide to every champion that you play. So let's for instance click on Gragas. Um, this will break down every single thing that you do, whether it be kill participation, whether it be KDA, KDA ratio, how many kills you get to deaths, uh, damage per death that you take, damage shared, how much damage you've dealt, uh, utility score, uh, it will show you in each rank too of how much you how you compare to other bronze or silver or maybe you're in challenger and how to compare to other challenger Gragas players um, And this is a very detailed guide So if you like stats you like looking at how much income you have map control combat, whatever it may be This will show you everything uh, And maybe you're looking at this and you're like man this guy sucks. <laughs> it's probably true. I'm not that good anymore um, But yeah, so I'm currently I'm B plus this is my season 2022 stats, a recent 10 games, and I have a 50% win rate, which is pretty good. 50% win rate is actually not bad on Gragas. So, yeah, so that is the profile icon. Now let's go on over here to the collection. So we're gonna click on this little backpack. Um, right here on the backpack, you're going to, the first thing you're gonna see, this is gonna be basically your collection of everything you have in the game, whether it be skins, emotes, runes, spells, wards champions whatever you own this is where it's going to be so over here i have a total of 200 and oh sorry 473 total mastery score and i have 621 milestones passed i don't know if that's good or not i'm sure that's a lot maybe i don't know maybe someone can tell me um but in here you can see all the champions in the game you can search by owned champions you can search by most popular position you play you can search by role um, you can go over here and put them in alphabetical order. You can put them in champion mastery, milestones pass, chest available for them, uh, whatever it may be. Uh, this will show you the free to play of the week. So every week um, they have a, or is it? I don't know if it's every week or every month, but it's it's one or the other. But they have a free to play champion rotation, basically. For, I think it's for the whole month, and you get to play a set of champions for free without having to buy buy them or play them. Or, or sorry, no. having to buy them or pay for them, you can just try them out. So this is where you're going to see uh, all the champions. Uh, we're going to click on the emotes. Uh, right now we have, um, this is where you have emotes you can do in game. My favorite emote is the dabbing penguin with the sunglasses. <laughs> Always has been my favorite. Uh, this has just showed you the collection of emotes, emotes that you have. You can just show emotes in the game. Uh, next we're going to go over to the runes. This is where you can set your runes page. I actually have a detailed guide on runes. Uh, it's from season 9, but I mean the game hasn't updated that much. I mean if you really want a runes breakdown guide, definitely go check out my runes video. Uh, this is all the spells you can take in the game. This is like just showing you all the different, what they do. 
uh, how you can use them and how much damage they deal do through each you know the level that you're at so ignite will do 70 through 410 true damage depending on champion level for five seconds it will show you what it does it puts a healing effects on them for healing reduction and just stuff like that so this is the spells uh, the next thing is the items um, this is a preset so let's say you, you know you want to put a preset build before you go in the game this is where you do it you click on the plus tab and then you can go through and basically shop before you go in a game and then you can have that preset build in the game and then you can just click on that preset build once you enter the game and then uh, you'll be able to go in the shop and this will already be there for you for the champion that you've already preset it for. So let's say you're a big Shaco jungler and you're like, you know what, I'm tired of buying all my items and I don't know where they're at. So I'm just going to make a pre-build Shaco build items list and I'm just going to stick it in here and then I'm going to um, use it in game so I don't have to navigate to it anymore. The next thing is the icons. Uh, this is where you're gonna go to see your icons. <laughs> over here at the top right, you'll see over here that you'll see my name, I'm online. Uh, this is will show your icon. My favorite icon is the Team Dignitas season three icon. Uh, I actually was a huge Dignitas fan back in the day. I'll, I'll root for them too if they're playing, but it's, like I said, the game's changed a lot. It doesn't have, I'm a cutie pie anymore on it, so. <laughs> um, or Kiwi Kid as support, right? So, uh, yeah, so this will show you how many icons you have and the different rarity of ones and how many legacy summoner icons I own, stuff like that, like ones you can't get anymore. So I have 330 icons, which is a lot. I, wow, I've been playing this game a long time. I've spent a lot of money on this game. Uh, next, we're going to click on the wards. Obviously, it's pretty self-explanatory, but if you're new to League, like I said, and you don't know what wards are, wards are like the eyes and ears of the game they are very important especially when you get to higher ranks i mean it's good to start learning how to ward early but uh, a ward is essentially a thing you drop in the game in the fog of war when you first play league there's going to be a dark area on the map and you'll notice that you can't see the enemy's fog of war uh, basically unless you either have a ward placed there and the war then will reveal that area in the fog of war or you have a champion walking over that fog of war and then you can see it and you can't see the enemy champions obviously because then that would be cheating but um, that's why wards are so important especially ward placements because they can win or break games uh, easily uh, they, they can help you with so many things, especially catching out people or to see if uh, the enemy team's doing Baron or maybe the enemy team's doing Dragon. A ward is going to be placed and it's going to reveal and show that area on the map. So it's, warding is super important and it's really good to have. Now right here in the wards icons, <coughs> excuse me, this is going to show you the maps or the maps the skins you have for all your wards. Um, so I usually have the Draven ward, which I required during the Draven Draven event. Um, and yeah, so it's just the ward of Draven. So I like having that one the most. All right, over here, we're gonna click on your chromas. Now chromas are skins for skins of your champions. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. Um, basically, if you buy a skin in the game, you can get these chroma packs, which then turn different colors to your champion skin. So for instance, or just the regular skin. So for instance, I have um, a chroma pack for Zack, right? So this is Zack's regular basic skin that comes with the game, but I have different colors I can put them in. So if I want to load up Zack as pink, if I want to load him up as sweet, or load him up as, what's sorry, sweet, yellow or orange, I can do so. so. People love chromas. They're kind of cool. I'm not crazy about chromas. Uh, I just have them because I don't know why. I think I got them off like loot chests or something, but yeah. <clears throat> so that is the uh, collections backpack. Uh, let's go over and click on the loot icon. This is going to be the hammer and sh like the hammer and whatever it's, I don't know, it's acting like a rock or something. Anyways, uh, we're going to click on the, uh, the loot icon. So the loot area, this is where you're going to go to find um, things that you can um, unlock. 
So for instance, let's say for instance you get a chest. Now a chest in League of Legends is going to give you a skin. It can reward you a skin ward, it can give you an emote, it can give you um, orange essence um, that you can spend on unlocking champions here. Uh, this is just another fun way to be able to get free champions in the game, another way to get free skin wards, stuff like that. Now chests typically do cost money, uh, but you have to get three key fragments to build a key, and then you got to use a key to open a chest. And when you get a chest, like I said, it's going to give you that free stuff. Um, I believe you do get a chest every so often. Riot will give you one, um, which is pretty cool, but then you also got to collect the keys. So it's not like they're just giving you chests all the time. You know, you, you got to wait. Over here, they actually have a new thing that just came out a couple of patches ago. This stuff is called Mythic Essence. Uh, you can use it to buy like basically fancier versions of a skin that is there so like for instance this new prestige ocean song seraphine just came out and then if you spend mythic essence you can buy it and you can get the icon in the border and these skins all rotate on a rotation um, I don't know if it's like every couple months or every month but these skins are gonna go out they're gonna go up in price and then they're gonna return at a later time and then these skins are gonna be replaced with new skins for you to buy so yeah, so your collection is um, basically there to just show. Over here, <clears throat> you have um, tokens that you can unlock for your favorite or most played champions. Let's say for instance here, I have two Urgot champ uh, tokens, champion tokens. I need one more. Once I get one more, I can unlock it with blue essence and another champion token. And basically it displays in game that I am awesome with that champion or that I've played them a long time, so it's just another flair and fancy way to show off your champion. Over here you have champions that I can unlock. I own all the champions, so this doesn't matter, but this is just another way you can buy them with blue essence. So yeah, so that's the collections tab. Over here we're gonna click on the store. Uh, so, let's go over the store real quick. The store is going to be a place where you're going to buy things in League of Legends. So, for instance, uh, the way that you would purchase things in the store um, is like, let's say you wanted to buy a champion. You can either you oh, like, <laughs> I own all the champions. So, let's say, for instance, you want to go buy a champion. And let's say Belvev just came out, right? And you were like, oh, that champion looks really cool. I want to get Belvev. Well, there's two ways you can buy champions. One is you can use Blue Essence up here, or which is like 7,200 Blue Essence or something like that for a new champion. Oh, it's kind of expensive. Or you can use Riot Points, which costs money. And it's cheaper to buy champions with that, but it's going to cost you money. So you can either be a free-to-play player and unlock every champion with Blue Essence, or you can be a pay-to-win player in a way and buy all the champions you want early and spend on our right points. So obviously I've been playing for a long time. So back in the day I purchased riot points like crazy and I've owned every champion since release. So um, yeah, that's just me. You don't have to play that way. League of Legends is a full free to play game. So if you want to play League of Legends in a free to play game, uh, you can, you have that option. You don't ever have to spend a dime on this game. People do because they like cosmetics or they want to see their champion skins. So in the store real quick, you can click on this button for purchasing RP. Uh, there's a gifting center. So let's say it's Christmas and you love your friend and you want to purchase a gift for your friend. You can do that here. You have an account icon. Uh, you can transfer your account to different regions in the world. So let's say you, for some reason, you're living in the United States and you move to Japan well now you can transfer your account to Japan and then all your stuff will be transferred there and then you'll have an easier time flying. You have a purchase history of what you purchased um, you also have you can redeem codes let's say you get a skin like code or someone gives you <coughs> riot points you can unlock that here. Um, on the featured homepage, you can see all these different things for sale. Uh, I know every week Riot in the store, they try to come out with 
um, different skins and they put them on for sale. So like right now, Beast Hunter Sejuani is 40% off. So if you really have been wanting Beast Hunter Sejuani, this is the time to pick it up. It's only 450 RP points, or Riot points, so that's good. Uh, there's a Champions tab, like I said, you can buy Champions here. Uh, there's skins. Uh, skins, if you're new to the league, and you've, and you've, or you're new to the gaming world in general and you don't know what skins are, skins are cosmetic. Uh, basically, they make your champion look different. Uh, they don't give you any sort of boost in game. They don't help you whatsoever. They're just there to make your champion look cooler and um, it's just to basically give a new look for your champion. It's like putting on new clothes for yourself in the morning, right? You get dressed, well this is basically that. You're putting on new clothes for your champion to look different. I've spent a lot of money on skins. We're not gonna go down that path though, <laughs> on how much I've spent. Uh, there's also a TFT tab, so if you're really into TFT, you can buy TFT things here. There's a loot tab. Um, this is where you can go to purchase loot boxes, uh, loot Hextech keys, like I was telling you in the loot section. You can buy the keys here for Riot Points, so if you want to spend money. And then we also have uh, accessories. These are icons for eSport teams. Uh, so if you want to represent your favorite eSports team, we also have icons you can buy for in-game. And uh, yeah, so those are pretty cool. Well, we've almost covered about everything. Um, over here, let's go over just a few more things. Uh, we Over here, we have the play button. Um, this is where you're actually going to go to play a game of League of Legends. Um, we have the Summoner's Rift game, which is the normal 5v5. Uh, there's three lanes. You have a jungler, an AD carry support bot. You have a mage, or you have a mid laner, and then you have a top uh, laner, usually a bruiser or a tank or you know more beefier people. You can play Blind Pick, which is um, Summoner's Rift, but uh, everybody gets assigned a random spot. Um, sorry. You get dropped into a queue if you play Blind Pick, and there's no assigned roles. You just basically got to call the role you want to play. Um, and then you have Draft Pick, which is Blind Pick except with bands, and uh, you actually get to assign yourself a role. And then you have ranked solo duo. Solo is obviously playing by yourself. If you want to play in the rank queue, uh, this is where it gets, if you want to play competitive League of Legends, this is where you'd go. And then um, you have the duo queue, which is you can play with a friend or a, another person online or whoever you want to play with. And then you have a ranked flex queue, which you can play with up to three or five people at a time uh, with a party or friends or whatever. So if you want to play ranked flex, you can play a ranked team uh, Summoner's Rift. We have ARAM, which I said earlier, ARAM is all random, all mid. There is one lane for everybody. So it's a five on five and one lane. It's a lot of fun. I definitely recommend it. Uh, you have Team Fight Tactics, which is TFT. And then you have AR Earth. I don't know why everybody's crazy about this game mode, but they keep bringing it back and it's fun, but it gets boring really quick. And I see some people, like, they play League just to play AR Earth. I'm like, why? Like, why are you just playing Ultra Rapid Fire? Like, it's boring. So, I don't know. Some people love it, but it's just, it's not my thing. Uh, up here on the top left, you have Co-op vs. AI. This is where you can practice against bots. Uh, if you're really wanting to try out a champion, um, and you, but you want to play a regular 5v5 battle, you can do that in the Summoner's Rift, and you can play against bots, and you can put it on intro beginner or intermediate intermediate obviously being the hardest mode so if you want to practice um, but you don't want to jump straight into a normals or rank game this is the place to go uh, training is basically the same thing uh, there's a tutorial mode of basically everything and i just showed you other than the client uh, it's not gonna it's just like a tutorial mode on how to play league like the basics very basics and it's going to show you what to do on the rift and what your goal and objectives are the practice tool is you can play your favorite champion, and this is a solo Summoner's Rift training gym, as it says. Uh, basically, you can pick your favorite champion. Let's say your favorite champion's Graves, and you jump in the game with Graves, and you can spawn. Um, basically, you control the Rift, so you can give yourself unlimited amount of money. You can unlock all your moves. Uh, this is just a way for you to practice your favorite champion and to not have any boundaries, essentially. You can create custom games uh, where you can invite friends or you can join a custom game where you can join other people. 
I never really understood custom games. I know custom games back in the day, you needed to, in order to play ARAM, you had to have a custom game. So I know that was what that was for, but now ARAM is just a regular mode for everybody to play. So yeah, so that's the play mode button. Uh, let's go back to the home screen. Real quick, on the right side, we have obviously, like I said earlier, your name. You have a minimize button here. You got a settings wheel, so you can go through all these different settings. We're not gonna go through all, every single one of those. Uh, you have your profile icon up here, so if you wanna change out your profile icon, you can. You can even change the border you have. Uh, so I can put a hex tech border, you'll see that changes. Or my, you can put my current, um, what rank I am right now, which I'm terribly gold three. And then I also have my Ionia border for reaching level 300. So you can put tokens uh, down here. These are all the different achievements that you've earned in the game. And then you can also put your titles. And apparently I've earned a new title, which is Mythic. Cool. Multi Weapon Master. Win with each of different Mythic items. All right, cool. So I guess I earned a new title. Right now I have Iconic because I'm an Iconic League of Legends player because I've been playing for a lot of years. So. Uh, and then over here you have your friends tab. Uh, this is like you can have separate groups. So right here is how to add a friend. Over here you can create and, and add a folder. So if you want to put a new folder down here, this will create a separate friend group or whatever you want to name it. You have options here. And then you can also search for different people. Uh, right now I have my friends group split up into different friends. So I have like an offline. I have a general of like people that I kind of know I just have added over the years but I don't know and then I have a fun fun time which is just closer people to me but like I used to play with a lot back in the day but now I don't so and then down here real quick there's a report a bug button which then you can report a bug to riot it will take you to this website and uh, um, you can sign in with your account and basically report a bug in the game then you have here, you have uh, missions for the day. You can unlock missions and you can do different objectives and you can earn different points. And then over here, you have your chat, uh, which where you can message your friends and see all the message you get for the day. Whew, so I know that was a lot to go through, but I hope this video was very um, educational in League of Legends. Um, I, I like doing these just regular basic videos I think they're kind of fun uh, just to give people a rundown of kind of what things do I hope I explained everything right obviously if you ever have any questions at all feel free to leave a comment feel free to email us at all things nerdy with two Y's at gmail.com and uh, yeah I hope you guys find this video cool um, I'll see you in the next legal and basic video all right bye guys